guys, welcome back to my channel Communicate and in this video we are going to learn how to write a chemical reaction like this in ChemDraw. So let's just get started. So we will start with the sub first substrate. For this we need a pyridine ring right from down left hand corner. Next we need to put a nitrogen atom here. For that we have to go to the option called view and select the option called show periodic table window. This will pop up with the periodic table. We will choose nitrogen atom from here. Put it here. Then we need to draw a few bonds. This option here called solid bond is used to draw bonds like this. If you double click on the bond, it will make it a double bond. Then we will choose oxygen atom. Now we want to write here IPR which is isopropyl group. For this we will go to the option called A. This will help us write anything in this box. I will write IPR. We need to put I in the superscript. For this we will choose this option of superscript. Okay, we are done with our first molecule. Then just a plus and then we will draw our second substrate. For this we need a cyclopentyl pentane ring. We will have this from here draw this now it looks a little bit twisted now I need to twist it in the other direction for this we will choose this tool called lasso tool and then it will get selected and we can now rotate it to look just like the one that I have drawn above now, it looks fine now now we need to draw the remaining bonds okay so the amine bond here is a wedge bond so we need to select the wedge bond because we have fixed its stereochemistry and then we will put the amine group here. Okay, now as you can see here, since the stereochemistry is fixed, it is a particular stereoisomer. And if we want to show here that what stereoisomer it is, we can also do that. Uh, Chemdraw can help us in determining the stereochemistry. For this, we will just select the molecule and go to the option called object and choose this option called show stereochemistry. So now this it shows us that this is the S configuration of this molecule. Now, let's, for instance, if this was not a wedge bond and it was a dash bond, then it should have been an R stereoisomer. Let's just check this if ChemDraw works that way. I will change this wedge bond to a dash bond and it should change the S to R. Well, it does. So, ChemDraw can also help you in determining the stereochemistry of molecules, which are difficult to determine the stereochemistry of, and um, it can solve your problem. So, let us go back to the wedge bond and it will change again the stereochemistry to S. So, the next step is to draw this arrow. So, I like to use usually the third arrow from the top row. So, we'll select that and draw here, and again write the things which are present on the arrow. Now, from where do I get this degree symbol? That's also a question that sometimes comes to our mind and we do not really know in the in ChemDraw how to figure that out. So I'm going to show you this. You can get in this option called view and there is this option called show character map window. Now in this window, you can get a lot of characters that you might need in future. So from here, we will choose this degree option. And that's how it can be fixed. Now, now coming to the product side. Let's just quickly draw this molecule in the same way. I know the molecule that I've drawn above in the product side is twisted and also having a different perspective that's what i'm going to show you that how do we do that actually that's pretty simple you just need to know the correct options that are present in the chem draw to fix all your problems then again we have wedge bonds here you can always fix the bond length and the direction the bonds are facing but first of all we need to molecule now since i need to write cy that resembles the cyclopentane ring here you do not have to write it again once you write it here and it's selected and you go on the other side of the molecule you just have to double tap it and it will show you the same thing 
let's just check it once again here for example we have methyl group and if i go to here and then double tap it it will show methyl group automatically now i need to fix the bond length and the direction of these bonds a little bit to make it look more clean so using the lasso tool you can fix all sort of bonds your bond length your direction like just holding it and moving with the mouse okay last thing as i said just select the ipr group from here and you do not have to write it all over again so makes things easier now last thing is to make this molecule look like the above one for this we will select the entire molecule first and rotate it in the left hand side just like this now it still does not look exactly the same as above one because there is a change in the perspective so the above molecule is slightly bent to the right hand side or to the opposite side of the screen so for that we will select this molecule and go to this option called structure perspective and we will change the perspective like this for example it looks like it is lying on the bed right so that's how you can move it around and make it look the way you want so that's go back to the laser tool and then you can make it it's like this right looks pretty much similar like the top one so that's how you can do it one additional thing that i'm going to show you in the video is how you can make your reaction look more colorful if you want to or if you want to highlight some particular section of the molecule so for example if i want to highlight let's say this cyclopentane ring and want to make it look colored so for example if i just want to make the bonds colored of this cyclopentane ring i can go to this i can select the cyclopentane ring and go to this option and for example i want to make it look blue so that's how you can do it now for instance i do not want to just make the boundary like or just the bonds colored i want to fill color in this ring that is also possible for that also you need to select this but if you go here it does not fill the color in the ring for that you need to go to the other option called view and here it there is another option called show ring fill colors toolbar and you go to that and choose the option that you want to fill in so for example it does not show the blue color uh, so we can do the custom and go to this blue color here and okay so it shows the ring will full solid color that's how you can highlight one particular section or make it look colorful if you want to let us try it once again for example i want to color this pyridine ring just select the ring and fill color of your choice let's say purple that's how you can do it so i hope this video was useful for you uh, there were some short tricks and um some tips and tricks on how you can use chem draw and write such easy reactions um i hope this video was useful and if it was then please like share and subscribe to my channel and if you want to learn something different in chem draw chem draw is a very powerful tool and we do not really know that how much you can do with this software so if you want to know something that you see in a paper and you are wondering that how people have written such equation or how they have drawn it then comment section is there for you to write down and let me know you can also cite papers and ask me um, what particular reaction you're talking about and i will have a look and show you how to draw that in chem draw so till then keep researching keep working take care of yourself i'll see you next time bye bye